Hi, it's Paul. Thank you for joining me for Lesson 12 in the Email Communication That Works course. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add MailChimp archives to your website with WPEZ. But before I get to that, in the last lesson, you learned how to send email with MailChimp, and you should have sent your first email ever with MailChimp. If you did that, congratulations. Woohoo! That is a big milestone. Well, now that you have sent your first email, one feature that you might want to add to your website so that people can view past emails that you've sent is to add an archive of your emails to your website. And so this way, if people want to go back and see past editions, they can do that. Or if somebody is new to your website and they want to see what comes in your emails before they subscribe, then they have the opportunity to do that as well. So let me show you how to add email archives to your website using our WPEZ website builder. To do this, we need to start by going to our MailChimp account, logging in, and then clicking on Campaigns. And here you'll see the emails that we've sent. I've sent a couple of test emails with this account. We go down to Create Folder, and we have to give this a name. Now this is a name that nobody else is going to see, so it can be whatever you want to help you know what it's about, and it can be boring if you want it to. So we're going to just call it Newsletters. And now that we've created the folder, we want to put any legit emails into that folder. Now these are test emails. You probably don't want to put your test emails into the archive, but that's all we have right now, so I'm going to show you with the test emails. We click Move To, and then Newsletters, and now you'll see that this link appears here on the right, which says Get Archive Code. We go ahead and click on that, and it brings this pop-up, and then we can get the code for the newsletter folder. So we click on that, and even though only two lines of code show, you can see there's a bunch of code in here. So we click on this, we hit Control A for all, Control C to copy. Next, we are going to log in to MyOCC, and once you've logged in, go to your WPEZ dashboard. And uh, after going to your WPEZ dashboard, we'll click up at the top, right click, and open our website in a new tab. We're going to add our email archives to our news page, so we're going to go to the news page and click the Page Builder link at the top. And for this example, we are going to put the archive just below our subscribe box. So we'll go to Modules, HTML, we click it and we'll drag it just under the subscribe button. Then we go to the general tab. We click our mouse in it and we hit control V to paste our code for our archive. We click save. And I'm not sure why it doesn't show up right away, but when we click done and publish, and then we'll click out to our home page and go back to our news page in order to cause it to refresh. Now you'll see we've got links to our past emails that we've sent. That's all there is to it. If you want to add a heading under here that says view our past newsletters, you're welcome to do that. Um, we're just going to leave it at this for now. So thanks for watching and go ahead and add your email archive to your website.